Hi, I'm Random Trashy. Welcome to the channel. So I've had some really interesting questions come up on the last couple of Ultimate Milsim Guide videos. Um, one of them was about the amount of action that you're going to see at an event. I thought it was a really interesting question, especially to try and address from a guide perspective. Dependent on, as you can imagine, the type of event you're going to, the team that you're playing on, the type of briefing, the type of tasks, scenarios and all that sort of thing that you're going to be playing through um, over a weekend, it really does depend on the amount of action that you're going to get. But one thing that I would definitely put in as a kind of precursor to going to some of the big Milsim events, again, I always focus on Combat Airsoft Group and Sterling Airsoft. They're the ones that I've done the most. For me, I think they're the ones that are the best um, for guys to go and get a real solid Milsim experience. There are so many companies now that are throwing just the Milsim label on their events, whether that be a one or two day event. But for me, I'm going to focus on Sterling. Um, they're the ones that I've been doing for years, back on back. They're the ones that are reliable and I think in my opinion they are the very top tier events in the UK and even across Europe so for Sterling events um, definitely don't expect to rock up have a briefing and be absolutely knee deep in a firefight within the hour sometimes that does happen but it's very very rare um, the events that I've been to in the cases of that happening is uh, the majority of the time in fact nearly every event that I've done I've always been on the kind of NATO um, UKSF um, USSF SF side of the team so a few times we've had our briefing and literally as soon as the briefing is finished the enemy started mortaring us we were all in the um kind of courtyard area of the fob the mortars come straight in this was actually at stand up and took out a ton of people it was a very clever move by the enemy um, and really did catch us off guard we didn't get much firefight after that because we were trying to medic the absolute tons of mass casualties that were everywhere after that scenario. So that's the earliest engagement that I've ever had at a Milsim. I've also had other Milsims where the engagement hasn't happened until Sunday afternoon. So we've played through the full day of Saturday, that is roving patrols, doing hearts and minds, you know, a lot more role play sort of stuff. We've done stag, um, our stag was actually particularly quiet. We had some real bad sessions of weather, which meant that there were some less players out on the ground for there to be firefights with and that sort of thing. Um, we went and done some OPs, we went and done some kind of recce in um, through the early hours of Saturday, and then we actually planned the sting operation on one of the targets Sunday afternoon. So. Um, Sometimes you do and are going to go through these events. Again, they're not always the same way. You are going to get less trigger time. Sometimes you get more. Sometimes that's more satisfying when you do just get that one solid operation that you've been working towards all weekend. For some players, and I even admit to being guilty of this myself, I do want to turn up at an event. I do want to get my time behind, the behind my gun and having firefights and that sort of thing. I do want to be doing all the exciting Gucci stuff like going and smashing buildings and doing lots of real tight CQB. Sometimes that's facilitated and, and you are able to do that and other times you aren't. But I do think it's an interesting question. I don't want to set expectations that you guys are going to be rolling up to these types of events and then within 10 minutes you're going to be on the back of a vehicle kicking in doors and taking hostages and all that sort of thing. It does happen, but again, it, you know, it's unlikely. Be prepared to spend large amounts of time out on the ground wrecking, doing patrols, um, you know, getting intelligence and all that sort of thing, as well as having those firefights. Um, I do think it's difficult to raise, again, like I said, different event provider, what side you're on, if you're, you know, on the militia side, whether you're on the task force side, whether you're a police force, whether you're all these different types of plot and scenarios that you can have with these different Milsim companies. They all have different roles, they have different ROE, so they have uh, different rules of engagement. So it really does depend, but definitely go with the expectation that it's not like a skirmish day where, you know, you can have events where they blow a whistle in the safe zone and everyone runs after an objective and it's instant action. Um, sometimes you might be stood down, you might have to be on stag for a few hours before um, you're actually going to spend any time out on the ground. So just be prepared that it's not all um, blowing doors off the hinges and, and taking hostages. Sometimes there is other parts of the Milsim um, simulation or, 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 you know, the build up to uh, a, a potential strike op that you have to partake in. So just be aware that it's, again, not all limelight and amazing ev events. They do happen. Um, I wouldn't say they're rare, but I would probably say that you are less likely to 
have back-to-back -back strike ops, back-to-back -back operations where you're constantly out um, at a milsim than you are going to be at a skirmish. So I hope that sort of covered the question. I know it's quite a difficult one to answer because the spectrum is so wide. What I would definitely recommend that if you are rocking up to a Sterling event at some point within that event, you are going to have definitely some really exciting, um, really uh, heart racing contacts. Uh, we were at Carewent not that long ago. We had the first day fairly sporadic, quite quiet. We had a few recce patrols and stuff. We had some light contact, but Sunday was absolute knee deep firefight. Um, we we went out with another call sign called Hammer One and they were the Sterling team and we backed those guys up through a absolutely blistering firefight. So they do happen, they are really exciting. Um, get yourself along to the Milsim events, get stuck in and then leave all your comments in the box below. If you've had any really exciting engagements at big Milsim events, please let me know about them. Talk about them in the box. If you've had weekends where they're really quiet and they've been quite sedate and you've done a lot more wrecking patrols again, I really want to hear about all your experiences to make sure you leave a comment in the box below. A like on the video really does mean a lot. I'm trying to build the channel as much as possible at the moment, so a share to any social media, recommend the channel to your friends, um, at them, tweet, whatever. Uh, it is always really appreciated, guys. So thank you so much for the support. Again, any Milsim-orientated questions in the box below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all soon.